2 Timothy chapter number 1. These are some of the reminders of Paul to Timothy which are very important to us as well. 2 Timothy chapter 1. If you're there, say Amen. Amen. Let us read verse 5 and verse number 6. Are you ready? Amen. Go. When I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois, in thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee, by the putting on of my hands. Verse number, verse number 13, sorry. Ready, read. Hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. Let us stop and then let's jump on chapter number 2. Chapter number 2, verse number 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. Then number 15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. I don't know why I did not change the letters of those, but if you would read those chapters, chapters 1 and 2, you would find Paul sharing with Timothy the things that he had to do. He has to do. And then, meron din siya mga dapat iwasan. So, ang ating po pinag-usapan ay patungkol po kay Paul and Timothy. We know the story here when Paul was about to die. He was at old age. He was telling Timothy of the things that Timothy should do and accomplish. Now, we find a verse there that Paul said to Timothy, Be thou an example of the believers. That means, ladies and gentlemen, the things that Paul wanted Timothy to do, the things that Paul wanted Timothy to be, the things that Paul wanted Timothy to go away from, are also the things that we need to consider. Ito po mga bagay, kasi ang sabi ni Paul kay Timothy, Be thou an example to the believers. Let no man despise the youth, but be thou an example to the believers. That means kung ano yung pinapagawa ni Paul kay Timothy these times, ito po yung mga bagay na dapat maging halimbawa natin. And so, mga kapatid, don't you ever forget that as a Christian, we are facing the end. Time is running. Every day we spend a day. We, tomorrow we spend another day. Tomorrow we spend another day. And then on the next day and we die. Kung kung mawawala sa isip ng bawat mana ng palataya, hindi po inalis ng Panginoon sa atin. The Lord is not taking away our work. The Lord is not taking away our studies. The Lord is not taking away our own dreams, even our love life or whatever. But God wants us to realize that in this life as we do things, we have to realize that death is coming. We are ending our life and we have a mission to do. And this mission should be done by each and every believer. And here we find Paul telling Timothy of the necessary things. Mga mahalagang bagay sa buhay ng isang mananampalataya. That as we spend our days, we have to realize these three things before I preach. You have to realize the lost days. Yung mga bagay na mga nawala. Are you with me? There are days that you're backslidden. There are days that you're not faithful. Every day, all of the days of the past that you did not good in the Word, all the days of the past that nobody heard the Gospel because of you, all the days of the past that you have not read your Bible, all the days of the past are gone. We don't rewind life. We don't go back to the days before. Every day, whatever we do today will be will end later tonight and tomorrow we face another day we cannot go back if you are not in prayer meeting tonight then you cannot go back to go prayer meeting this time are you with me there are days that are being lost every time you you, you live a carnal life every time you, you're not in the church every time you're not serving the lord every time you're there you say wait there is somebody that is there willing willing to hear the gospel and you can share the gospel but you did not share the gospel well, that is a wasted time. So my friends, we cannot go back to the lost days of our life. You have to realize that there is something to be done today because there are days that were lost. May mga panahon na nawala na. 
may mga panahon na nasaya na. And I want you to consider the days that are left. The left days. Praise the Lord, we still have tomorrow if God would allow us to live, to serve Him once again. Praise God that we still have time. We're not running, of ta- running out of time by the grace of God as we pray. Walang mga aksidente, walang magkakasagin. We, 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 we have to believe and we have to accept the fact that sickness might come, death might come any moment, any time. And yet, dahil wala naman tayo siguradong sakit pa, dahil wala naman tayo, wala naman siguro sa inyo may death threat, ano ho? You can just ask God for mercy and pray, Lord, would you let me live more days? Would you let me live another year? Would you let me live another 10 years? There are still days that are left. You have to plan your Christian life. Among the days that are left, what have you, what will you do for the Lord? Uh, Young people, are you are, are you thinking about that, Lord? Maybe after 10 years, may, may I be father a faithful member of the church? Or, Lord, may you call me as a preacher, maybe after 20 years, Lord, I have still left days that are left, and so I can study, pa. I can learn, I can read my Bible, I can change, I can grow, I can practice, I can mature, I can be uh, the best that I can be. There are ways to be trained, there are verses to learn, there are men to, to, to know God from, so there are examples, and there are possibilities. There are opportunities. There will be camps. There will be conferences. Praise the Lord. There are still left days to come where we can improve. Uh, consider that. May mga natitira pa mo tayong araw. So, marami nang nasayang. Ano nga namang sayangin mo pa? Marami nang nasayang na hindi tayo sumunod sa Panginoon. So, uh, may mga may mga panahon na nasayang na tayo. Mag-ingat na tayo. We have to we have to stop for a while and just check our life, Lord. How long will I live? Oh, what are my plans, Lord? Uh, mag-aasawa na ba ako? Mag- Lord, may I be faithful. May I think of the things that I should do to serve you. Lord, I would want to be a missionary. I would want to be a preacher. I would want to surrender my life. Lord, I would want to be a faithful Christian. Lord, may mga nauna sa akin. I want to be like them as well. Hello? Amen. In the last days, of course, alam naman po natin yan, hindi ko na po kailangan preach, pinitids ko na ng maraming beses, that in the last part, the Timothy Paul was reminding him of the days, of the last days, the last days, the left days, or, or, or the lost days, the left days, yung mga natitira pa, at saka yung last days. Meron pa ang uling panahon na pasama ng pasama ang mga tao. Just try to imagine, marami na marami ang pulto, Pa-faithful sila ng pa-faithful. Hello? Pasama ng pasama ang mundo. Pagkatapos na nakakalukot tayo, hindi tayo nag improve Are you with me, Christians? That's why I want you, every time as your pastor, nakikita ko yung mga kailangan, let us do our best. God does not deserve yung second best. God doesn't deserve a mediocrity. God deserves the best. Are you with me, Christians? Habang pasama ng pasama ang mundo, habang palala ng palala ang mga kulto, dapat ang mga mali ng palataya na re-realize nila, dapat silang mag-init sa pananampalataya, dapat kang magbasa ng Bible, dapat kang makaakay na ng kaluluwa, dapat kang makapaglingkod sa Diyos, dapat kang makapagtapa, sapagkat sa huling panahon, pasama na ng pasama ang tao. We have to realize that. And so Paul was sharing Timothy of some necessary thing. Number one, you look at it. Paul was telling Timothy, because of the lost days, because of the left days, and because of the last days, Timothy, you stir up your gift. Hello? 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 6 says, Ready, read. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance, ready, go, that thou stir up the gift of God that is in thee by the putting on of my hands. God's gift to Timothy is to be a preacher. And so God, Paul was, sorry, Paul was telling Timothy, Hey, Timothy, you stir up your gift. You practice what is God given. You find it, know it. 
church members listen do you know what is your gift don't believe that if you're a Christian tonight God has given you something that you can use for the ministry that's why all of us that are saved tonight and baptized if you're a Christian tonight God has given you something for you to be a part of the ministry. God has given you something, a gift, to be stirred up as the Word of God is being preached, as you be faithful in serving the Lord, as you give your life to God, you would find that gift being used. And as that gift is being used, God is being praised. And you, God will bless your life as you have, as you have been used by God. Uh -huh. Kaya alamin mo natin yung mga regalo ng Panginoon sa atin. Paano Panginoon mo magagamit ang ibinigay mo regalo sa akin? You have to stir up the gift. Hello! Every believer has to give. 1 Peter chapter 4, 10 says. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10 says. As every man hath received the gift. Are you there? As every man hath received the gift. Even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Are you there? As every man hath received the gift. Kung papaano ang bawat tao, bawat pano ng palataya, nakatanggap ng regalo sa Panginoon, paglingkuran natin ang ating bawat isa, ating gawain, bilang mga mabubuting katiwala ng mayamang grasya ng Diyos. God has given you a gift. And the purpose of that gift is to reach the world, to minister to one another. Ladies and gentlemen, Christians, listen, you are not just saved to sit down. You are saved to serve God. You might not know it tonight, but I tell you, be faithful. Serve the Lord. Listen to preachings. Read the Bible. Attend church. Be loyal to God. And as you give your life to God, that gift will be stirred up. Para yung nagtimpla ka ng juice, pagkatapos ang dami mo nilagay, bakit ang tabang hindi kasi nahahalo? Meron din nilagay yung Panginoon sa atin, hindi mo malasaan, hindi mo maindigyan, hindi mo malaman, hindi mo magamit kasi hindi nahahalo. Kaya kaya, kaya nga ang Diablo, purpose ng Diablo, ikaw mag-backslide ka, huwag kang makapag-worship, huwag kang makapaginig ng Bible study, huwag kang makapaginig ng preaching, huwag kang makapag-soul winning. Kasi as you do the work of God, that gift will be stirred up and one day you would find it and you will use it for the glory of God. Amen. And once you use it, that gift can reach the world. Oo. Oh, mga patid, yung testimony nyo as I share to get down to other parts of the world. It is stirred up. Nagagamit yung mga patutuon na ibinibigay ninyo. Nakakaawag ng ibang bayan. Nakakaawag ng ibang lugar. At pati sila na hahamon. That's how powerful that gift is. Uh, Pag yan regalo ng Diyos na paggamit natin, naaabot niya ng iba. Uh, Nagagamit yan sa iba. At hanggang sa maabot natin ang mundo. Are you with me? Hello? Timothy, stir up the gift. Number two, sound words. Sound words. Diba? Hindi lang mo yung stirring up of the gift. Ang sabi ni Paul kay Timothy, sabi niya po dito, verse number 13. Are you there? Hello? Amen. Ready, read. Hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me. In faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. Paul was telling Timothy, Ngayon, tayo mga mana ng palataya, dapat nakakapit tayo sa mga maaayos, makapangyarihang pananalita. Hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. Kaya ang sabi ni, ni, ni Joshua, kay, ni God, kay Joshua, let that my words, as sabi niya sa Joshua 1.8, ano ang sabi, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. What's inside must be coming out of your mouth. How could it be, Pastor? How could it be, Lord, that my mouth would be filled with the word? It can only be filled with the word if it comes inside the heart. And this heart can only be filled by the word if the word comes in the eyes and in your ears. Tama ba ako? Hindi ko shortcut mo yun. Yung salita ng Diyos, kakanin mo natin. Kailangan mo munang makita. Kailangan binabasa mo. Kailangan pinapakinggan mo. Kaya nga may preaching. Kaya may Bible reading. And as you read your Bible, it comes inside the heart. 
Hello? Eh, ako po kayo magagalit lang ito sa mga naalig sa games kung bakit kayo napipigil. Kasi pumapasok lang sa puso natin eh. Are you with me? And as you read your Bible, the things of God comes in your heart. As you listen to preaching, the things of God comes in your heart. And your heart be changed. And then this heart would speak out, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Kaya he hold fast the profession of sound, hold fast the form of sound words. That is wise words, words of wisdom, godly words, meaty words, words that will help, words that will encourage, words that will uplift. There are churchmates, listen, not just churchmates, but workmates and classmates and relatives, people around you. They needed to hear sound words and only they can hear that from God's child. Sa tuwing tayo po ay nagtatapat sa Panginoon, nakaka-apekto po ang mga sinasabi natin sa lahat sa mga tao. Marami dyan, mga suicidal, kailangan lang nila mapakinggan ng iyong tinig. Kaya kanina po, tuwa po, parang talaga akong reporter nung nagsasalita. Alam niyo, mga minaman, titignan niyo po ang sinasabi ng Biblia. Para, para kumari, medyo radio announcer. Ano? Pero ano, eh, Tuwang-tuwa ako kasi naririnig ako sa buong General Santos ng mga sinasabi ko, sound words. You see, so take an opportunity. We don't need a radio station. We don't need a television. We just need our knuckles to be around us. We just need some people to, uh, 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 that, that we live along with them and be filled with the Word of God. And so once you speak out, they would hear sound words. Sound words would get them. Sound words would help them. Sound words would remind them of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Sound words. Third, thirdly, thirdly, his strength in the Lord. Tignan nyo, 2 Timothy chapter 2. Are you there? Amen. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Ano yung sabihin ni Paul dyan? Verse 3. Thou therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet he is not crowned except... He's right. As happy Paul, I think with Paul. I think with him. Do you realize the last days coming? Do you realize the left days, the days that are left? Do you realize the last days? Think with him. Listen to me. Listen to me. Be strong in the Lord. Amen. Wag kang maging malakas dahil may pera ka. Wag kang maging malakas dahil panata ka. Wag kang maging malakas kasi wala ka sa kaya. Maging malakas ka sa Panginoon. How is that? Be closer with God. Before the Lord Jesus Christ left earth and go up to heaven, He talked with His disciples in John 14. What did He say? Abide in Me. Abide in Me. Except the branch abide in abide, it will never bear fruit. For without Me, you can do nothing. Christians, don't forget this truth. You have to be closer to Jesus Christ. You can be closer to your preacher, to your pastor. You can be closer to your friend. But the question tonight, are you close to Jesus Christ tonight? Amen. Are you close to Christ tonight? If there is somebody that can only give us strength, it is the Lord Jesus Christ. We have relationship with our sweet. I love you as God's people. I hope you love me as your preacher. But nevertheless, the greatest closeness that we should have is a close relationship with Jesus Christ. You pray, read your Bible, you be closer to Christ. And so as you become closer to Christ, you become strong. Even weakness becomes strength when Christ is closer. Amen? Even problems can be overcome when Christ is closer. Be strong in the grace which is in Christ Jesus. Maging malapit ka sa Panginoon. Hindi masama ang markata, hindi masama ang kaibigan, pero ang tanong, malapit ka ba sa Panginoon? Pwede tayo magkaroon ng maraming talento, pwede natin gawin ng maraming proyekto sa gawain, pwede tayo magbigay ng malaking sanapi, pero ang pinakatanong pa rin, malapit ka ba kay Kristo? Huh? Are you close to Christ? Are you close to Christ? Yeah. Praise God for quiet time, amen? Kasi hindi na tayo makakapaglokohan. When I have my quiet time with God, I know if I'm far away. Lord, sorry, Lord, help me. 
Let me preach as what you want me to preach. Give me wisdom. Let me lead our people. Let me be a good pastor. Let me be a good husband. Let me be a faithful husband. If you're closer to Christ, you're powerful. Just I can imagine when I'm alone, I'm not with my wife, I'm not with you. I can be tempted, I can fall into sin. What can save me from falling closeness to Christ? Yeah. That's how important it is. Because there will be times you will be alone and people won't see you and, 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 and your loved ones won't see you. But God is there. And when you're close to Christ, you can overcome. Just try to imagine. It's just me. Just me. What would I be? I preach a lot. I go to churches a lot. I preach hard. I kick. I shout. Tulo palaway ko. And then I'm not doing what is right before God. Hello. I'm not sensitive anymore and I'm sinning and I'm, uh, and, uh, and I'm yielding to temptation and I'm, and I'm not being faithful to my wife. Di ba nakakatakot? Ha? Ang ingin, wala na po ito, parang lang ako nagtrabaho. Parang pinagkakitaan ko na lang ang buhay ko bilang pasto. Eh, mamapatay ako, harap ako sa Diyos. Naging sipo ako mga mahal ng kapatid. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng gagawin natin, baano mo na kung hindi tayo manapig sa Panginoon? Eh, sino ba naman sa atin ang hindi makasalanan? Kaya napakalaga na sa ating personal na buhay na ahala na po na higit sa pastor na nakatingin sa'yo, higit sa tao na nakatingin sa'yo, may Diyos na nagpahal sa'yo, merong katag ang pagligtas na pinaglilingkuran na kahit mali man ang alam ng iba, na kahit kahinina ka, kung ikaw ay manapig sa Kanya, ikaw ay malakas, hindi ka matitinig ng problema, hindi ka matitinig ng kahirap, so you will never yield to temptation. Why? You're strong in the Lord. Amen. You're strong in the Lord. That's what Paul was telling Timothy. You don't please crowd. You don't please men. You don't be close to me more than you are close to God. Be close to Christ. Be strong in Christ. Be strong in the grace of Christ. Temptation is strong. Problems are strong. Be strong in Christ. Be close to Christ. Be reminded that you are saved by the blood of Christ. Be reminded that Christ loves you. Be reminded that Christianity is more than just church. More than just, just facing men. Christianity is a relationship with God. Amen. You have a relationship with God. I have a person. I have a relationship to you as your pastor. But more than that, I preach to churches. And still more than that. I face my Savior, and when I'm alone, He's there. And if I'm not close to Him, it's hard. I must need to be closer to Christ. Be closer to Christ. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Learn how to strive. Learn how to strive to go against the flow. Marami mangunokso, marami mangunulit, marami magagalit. You learn to continue in your faith despite of persecution. You learn how to continue in your faith. Be strong in the grace which is in Christ Jesus. Learn how to sacrifice. Are you there? Uh, Number four, last. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Maraming kulto, kaya nilang ipaliwanan ng pananang palataya nila kahit mali at nakakatawa. You have the truth. We have the right doctrine. Study. Young people, learn how to read your Bible personally. Learn how to read your Bible personally. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Be an example to the believers. Sabi ako ito yung thing. Huwag basa ka ng Bible para halimbawa ka sa iba. Are you with me members? How to be strong and be close to God. But after that you study His word. Basta kayo yung Bible niyo mga kapatid. Baptist mo tayo. Hindi mo tayo nandito para lamang sa isang religyon. 
mga anak po tayo ng Diyos, makapangyarihan tayo pag alam natin ang Bible natin. Read your Bible when you're at home, before you go to bed, when you wake up, when there is a time, you open your Bible, read your Bible, learn the truths of the Bible. These verses will remind you, you will never be depressed when you read your Bible. You will never be in despair when you read your Bible. You will never doubt God when you read your Bible. You will never be defeated when you read your Bible. You read your Bible, you be closer to God as well. You read your Bible, you can share the gospel to men. You read your Bible, it will encourage you. You read your Bible, it will help you in your faith. You read your Bible, amen? And pray every day. Meditate upon the Word of God. The Word of God is rich. Rich. Sobrang yaman ang salita ng Diyos. Take time to read, Lord. Before I say, Lord, let me read your Word. Are you with me, Christians? Uh, I hope and I pray that this reminder of people to Timothy would also be our reminder. Amen? Amen. Some reminders that we need to realize. Some reminders that we need to realize. Because of the lost days, dami na nasayang. Because of the late days, marami pa tayong pwedeng magawa. And because of the last days, pasama na lang pasama ang mundo. Ano sabi? Steer up your gift. Find your gift. Serve the Lord. Do it now. And then number two, sound words. Do not forget this mouth is important to the world, to the people around you. And thirdly, strong, be strong in the Lord. Your strength in the Lord. Be closer to Christ in this time. Lagi ka maging malapit sa Panginoon last day. Study. Study the Word of God. Amen? Tumayo po tayo lang.